And now, a first look at the new Wii TV series, Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta. Yo, what up? It's me, Lil Bow Weezy, AK Bow Wow, AK Shop Moss, AK Miss Entertainment. I grew up in hip hop since five years old. It's Big Bow Wow now. I make TV, sell records. I'm a hustler. The average person your age ain't been through what you've been through. Because they can't fly with you. Hip hop in the A is like family. Jermaine Dupree, so so dead found me. The godfather of the A. The brat, you know, that's always been big sis. T.I. and Tiny. DJ Hurricane. And of course, Miss Dan. And now their kids are the next generation of Atlanta. I'm Zanique. My parents are T.I., the rapper, and Tiny from the group Escape. I'm a singer and an entertainer. I am the A&R of your okay, project. Okay, yeah, I know. But you're firing me, right? Okay. Work with family, it's never easy. You got a momager. I went through that. I messed up our relationship mm -hmm. as mother and son. It's how this business can be. I'm Brandon Barnes. I am the son of Deborah Antony, younger brother to Waka Flocka. My mom is known for building the careers for Gucci Mane, Nicki Minaj, and a whole bunch of other people. She is the ultimate developer, but everybody know I'm like the Jesus Christ of development. I mean, let's be real. Take out a pencil and pad, because I'm about to take you back to school. I'm not just going to let you talk to me any kind of way. It ain't easy stepping out the shadow of hip hop roots. I can't do this with her in this music business. My name is Regina Carter, and I am a senior in high school. Growing up with my father being Lil Wayne and my mom being Toya Wright, my life is just lit. When you get the world handed to you, nothing's ever enough. I'm telling you what doesn't make sense to do a big crazy party at 18. Just like any other family, we gonna fight like hell, gets crazy. Are you serious about working in the studio? I don't know if you're ready, man. You don't work with Rihanna. You don't Absolutely. work with nobody. You're a Absolutely. liar. Don't be trying to come down on me. Why are you even commenting on my child? Man, this is hip hop. Ain't no friends involved in this when we take care of business. I want you to go down there to beat him up. Like, I'm tired of him. He keep disrespecting me. We need to end this right now. Hey, hold on. Why are you disrespecting no. my child? Come on. What's up, Hollywood? So, what the f you thought you were just gonna come to the A and think you was. The f you gonna bring this f Me, your boy, Bow Wow, a.k.a. Shaw Moss. Founded by Snoop Doggy Dog at an early age. You know, hooked up with Jermaine Dupree. They've been selling out arenas and putting up hit records on them charts since then. We're talking 24 million records. So I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I'm in the A to promote my new mixtape. This was some quick, fun, overnight thing that me and Soulja did. And we put it together literally overnight. And we just threw it out there. I just blew my CSI money on a bad bitch. So I blow that VH1 money, dog, you been rich. I came in a two-seater, how these hoes gon' fit? Yo, yo. How's everything with you? Yeah, I just got to Atlanta, I'm home. I'm gonna see you back in LA in a few days. Okay. Like any other rock star that's been in the game for 20 plus years, relationships, not really my strong point right there. If you know Bow Wow and you know the history, the women in my life, well, let's get into that. I'm gonna date some of the hottest of the hottest, you name it. Reality stars to the hottest R&B singers in the game to actresses, models, all types. My rap sheet long. Of course, you got my daughter's mother, Joy. We not together technically right now. And now, you know, we got a six-year-old daughter named Shy. She's definitely the best thing that ever happened in my life. But now, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to mature and try to work things out a little bit with my daughter's mom. I really feel like she could be the one. So what are you working on? You know, I got the mixtape release. They bringing the city out for your boy. So? So, you know, I can't wait to do that one. Atlanta's not really, like, a good place for you. Jo listen, listen. You know, going I'm, to the club. I ain't even on the I'm tired. I'm not even about to be turning up. Okay. Look, I ain't gonna do nothing crazy tonight. I'm going to bed early. I'm meeting with JD in the morning. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm gonna be chilling. All right. All right. Bye. All right. 
A wise man said, hey, welcome to Atlanta where the players play. But I'm done with all that after tonight. <laughs> My big mixtape release party going down in the weekend. But you know, I like to turn up before the real turn up. We call this the pre turn up. Go, go, go. We're gonna do it like we do it every night. When I'm around this <laughs> party. It's a good night. Cheers, yeah. baby. Some more money and you know, no good vibes and all that. No. Whoa. Yeah. 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 I know it's messed up that I'm ending her calls and sending straight to voicemail. <laughs> but when you come to the South, it just throw off your whole mental. I mean, do y'all see the women that we have? I mean, people travel all over the world to come to Atlanta just to see our strip clubs. You don't break the chain. You can break everything else, just don't break the chain. Y'all feisty. <laughs> Yo, what is going on with Bell? Look, he came back with a vengeance. That's the same shit he always been doing. That's crazy. Atlanta bring the thought out of you. I'm Brandon Barnes, I'm 26 years old, and I am an artist developer. My mom is the hip hop mogul of Atlanta. Most of my career has been spent in my brother and mother's shadow. I don't wanna do that anymore. Ayana and I are cousins. We have tons of fun when we're together. I'm the ton and I guess she's the fun. <laughs> we are two peas in a pod. So what are you looking for? Nothing. You came up here just to pick around? Yes, like I always do. My name's Ayana, I'm 25, and I want to be a fashion designer. I want to own my own clothing line. And my father is legendary DJ Hurricane from the Beastie Boys. I grew up different from most people. I went on tour with Beastie Boys a lot as a child. I didn't know in that moment that I was surrounded by legends. Growing up, I got whatever I wanted. Now that I'm older, I realize that that is called being spoiled. But back then, I thought that's what he was supposed to be doing, so. Shout out to my dad. <laughs> what is taking on Debbie so long? I don't know. Let's find out. Debbie. My mom is very smart. She's aggressive. She's very lovable, like me. But don't get it twisted. You disrespect her, you might get beat the hell up. That's cute. It looks good. Mm. This is cute. Yeah. Mm. I think it wraps. Oh, yeah. You like oh, that? yeah, you got enough stuff to put this on. I have too much stuff for that. Well, you have enough. It looks good. A little cleavage it just never hurts anybody. What? So you in here shopping. What's going on with work? I quit. Why did you quit? I have my own fashion line that I'm working on. We know that. So why would you just get up and quit? Because I don't have time to work on what I want to work on while I'm working for other people. Does Uncle Kane know? That's what I want to know. No, he doesn't. So what, you think you're going to get a whooping? Probably. Yeah. I would love to see that. I'd just like to be a fly of the ball. These kids today got it too, too easy. They get just handed down to them, and they really don't feel like they have to work for what they really want. That's a damn problem. Well, look, all right, I got to go. Got a voice lesson with Gunny. So, deuces. Brendan is very talented when it comes to vocal training and artist development. And Zanique is a really, really talented young lady. I really think she's going somewhere. Zanique, I'm watching you. Bye, y'all. Yeah, I call them shots. Yo. What's up? It's always a beautiful thing, man, when I touch back down in the A, get a chance to holler at the big homie JD, see what he's been up to. Besides, I got some things I want to holler at him about anyway. What you been doing? Been doing my TV and film stuff. That, that's work. 
Oh, okay. Growing up, my father never was around in my life. So luckily, I was fortunate enough to have a Jermaine Dupri in my life to raise me. And ours has always been that father and son type thing. That's what makes us have this unique bond. You here to work? I got the little uh, little mixtape release thing they throwing for me. You gonna show up? No. Absolutely you are. Don't no, worry about it. I don't think so. The city coming out, it's gonna be lit. You know it's gonna be lit. If you wanna be the grown-up guy and get the grown-up respect, then them wild songs that you talking about, you can't really make them songs. That's just to keep the That makes the people rap think you don't fresh. really want to do it. That makes people think you just like scared to like walk into the light again. Nah. You, you, I hear you saying that, but you got to show that you got control of your life. Like, you got to do a little bit more to make people really realize that. I think that the route to go is give it to them raw, uncut, and paint the story. No. I don't know what Jermaine be talking about. He really be showing his age sometimes. And I'm like, what the f do you mean? You thinking from a reckless standpoint. Nah, but look, if shit, you out, if you knows. listen. Growing up hip hop Atlanta premieres Thursday, May 25th at 10 on WeTV.